I'm hitting record. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm also hitting record. Hang on, I wanna try one thing. Let's try one thing. Okay. Mm, yeah, no, that's terrible. Never mind. Okay, we're good. All right. Oh. One, two, three. Laughs, bits, tangents. Matt and Mike, virginal fans, began watching One Piece and everything the show had to offer. And their nonsense ideas drove them to create their podcast. Buggy the Clown is back. Fuck, fuck. This is a One Piece <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh, These words lured listeners to their grand show in what's now known as the Fun Piece Podcast. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Fun Peace Podcast. My name is Matt. My name is Mike. And also here is... The... Historian? Historian. I liked that it had a question mark at the end of it. (laughs) (laughs) We're not sure what you look like because we just see a transponder snail. It's true. The, I don't have a physical form, correct. The more like the pistorian, am I right? I don't believe that we said big piss. <laughs> big piss. <laughs> we definitely said it at the end of last fi- the last episode of the podcast. I don't know why. <laughs> Matt, you're remembering a bit that never happened. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I just edited that. I don't think we say big piss. Hey, everybody. Hey, you motherfuckers in the Discord and the listeners out there. If we said big piss at the end of Water 7 Part 3 or 4, I can't remember. One of the last two episodes. Please let us know if we said big piss. We don't know why we said big piss, but we said big piss. Um, also, I just... Hey, Matt. Need, yes. I'd like to actually do no bits on this one. Really? Yeah. But I love bits. Well, we're going to take a break from bits. We're just going to get right into brass tacks. Yeah, there is a lot of drama going on. So that's fine. Yeah. We're here. What were you going to say? I know, we're here to talk about episodes 253 to 257. Mike and I are watching mm-hmm. One Piece for the first time. And we're deep in Water 7. Deep in the water. No bits. I don't think Timothy Chalamet <laughs> should play Willy Wonka. I think that <laughs> dude is too sharp and... <laughs> How many, can... how many episodes in a row can we complain about this? <laughs> can we complain Listen. about doing bits and, or not doing bits and then do bits? <laughs> Part of the, one of the bits now is saying we're not going to do bits. Yeah. It's very important. I just don't like his cheekbones. I'm sure he's a fine person. I just, uh, maybe. I don't really care. I'm not going to meet him ever. If you, I don't remember which episode it was. Many episodes ago, we went on a vendetta about Timothy Chalamu. Uh, and his Dune bullshit. Um, Timmy C. And I'm the quiz. That's hot rock. Is he like what? I don't know what nationality <laughs> Timothy Chalamet is. He's he's is American. He, can, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think he he's went to just high school in New dude. York. So I think he's just a that, dude. Oh. I just don't. I don't care for him. He was just like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna step out of character on this one. And I'm going to be really whimsical because I have to be whimsical as Willy Wonka. Here we go. Ready? Hey, it's me, Willy Wonka. (laughs) I like chocolate. I like chocolate. Look at all this chocolate. (laughs) I'm going to enslave this race (laughs) of orange men. Are you an Oompa Loompa? Mm, What do you taste like? Do you taste like chocolate? I like chocolate. Do you think he tried to kill them and eat their flesh first beside, before realizing they were, like, useful slave labor? He probably... Do you think he... <laughs> do I, yes. yes. But do you think he did that before or after he tried to milk them? I, I think he did both. I think he took two other ones, milked one, cut one up, and barbecued him, ate it, and then the third one was in the glass jar, and he was like, hmm, what should I do with this one? And then... Hugh Grant Oompa Loompa just started talking and then he went, whoa, you don't just taste like chocolate? And then is, a friendship was is born. There, is there a Willy Wonka? Did we... 
Did we already talk about who would be who in Willy Wonka? Uh, I think we kind of did. Yeah, I th- yeah, we were talking about com- the the who the the Straw Hats would be in like like Nami's Veruca Salt mm. and mm-hmm. like Sanji's Violet because he wanted to. Chew. I can't remember yeah. if we said that on or off the podcast. No, it was on the podcast. I think it's oh, definitely right. on the podcast. Don't have any more original ideas for you guys. I'm sorry. No, we don't. Um, I will say, hey everybody, I have a confession to make. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I have I've I've been I've been getting by by listening to a lot of uh, Jimmy Buffett, um, <laughs> and I feel like Jimmy Buffett is like Straw Hat vibes. I think Jimmy Buffett is <laughs> the same vibes as the Straw Hats. Truly, I feel like you know they're vibing I on mean, the ship. Zorro, <laughs> Zorro, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> has like a playlist of all dad yacht rock yeah i think zora's like full-on just like drinking pounding pounding bottles of booze f- wasting away again in margaritaville um i think you know i think cheeseburger in paradise might be sanji's favorite song while he's cooking it's definitely luffy's song favorite song it might be both of it might be the whole crew's favorite song like it comes on and like even Robin's like tapping her toes. She's like, "Yeah, this is." Oh, Robin would be the first to be like, "Oh, I love James Buffett." <laughs> I wish He's my favorite. I wish I had a pencil thin mustache. Um, <laughs> anyway, I've been listening to a bunch of Jimmy Buffett, and it's been really just helping the days pass by. And I just needed everyone to know that. I don't know if that's like a, I don't know if that's a tell for where I am psychologically. Um, or if I'm just embracing the the good vibes of Sir James Buffet, um, but I needed everyone to know that it has nothing to do with One Piece. This is a One Piece podcast. This is a One Piece podcast. Do you think that uh, Jimmy Buffett and Tom Waits have been in the same room together? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, I want to see that. I want to see that like combo album. Just like a gravelly. Are they, are they like cover they're... each other's songs? <laughs> Burger in I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano <laughs> blows. Uh, Tom Waits would be a good hero look. <laughs> Tom, uh, He's Tom Waits doing would be freaking great as Smoker. Um, oh my. <laughs> just the <laughs> voice. Like really. Younger Tom Waits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, anyway, hey, where are you? Uh, who's the guy who, who's the guy who always dances? In the Straw Hats? No, in, in like movies and stuff. Um, Sam Rockwell? Sam Rockwell. Yeah. yeah. Sam Rockwell would be a good iceberg. <laughs> oh my goodness, he would. <laughs> <gasps> that's so good. Oh, that's a really good, uh, say, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for listening. This is a One Piece podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, we're we're in water seven right now, and we've been having a lot of feelings. Um, we ab- have about it. I, I'm sorry, I can't I can't leave this. What do you think the cross section between One Piece and Jimmy Buffett fans is? Because it can't be that big, or maybe it's maybe it's like one hundred percent. It's just a circle. It's just a circle. We want to know. We can make it a larger <laughs> wanna... category. Oh my god, it, there. There's like a not impossible chance that Oda puts Jimmy Buffett in One Piece. Historian. If Jimmy Buffett or made he... it to the Jurassic World series, Jimmy Buffett can make it to yeah. One Piece. Historian, is Jimmy Buffett in One Piece? I don't. The fucking Hold parrot on. head pirates. The parrot head pirates. <laughs> and he ate the margarita margarita <laughs> fruit. The rum rum fruit. The rum I, rum fruit. I don't think the weed, Jimmy weed Buffett fruit. exists in the world of One Piece. Can you just, can you look it up? Can we at, can we tweet at Oda and be like, can you put Jimmy Buffett in the show? <laughs> you can you can try. I don't think Oda's like on social media in any way, really. How do interesting? He's not on social media. I don't How do, think so. I think it. I would, mean, if I were him, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's, kinda, that's, that's too many. That's too many opinions. That's this is too many yeah. fan theories. This is interesting to me. Then how do how do people communicate for the SBS stuff? Is that like by I email think, or honestly, like a PO box I think type it's, deal? I think it's like a PO box write in kind of thing. Old fashioned transponder snail mail. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness, Oda. Look at you. Wow. Hey. Look at this transition right into One Piece. One Piece. We should try to get Inyaki Godoy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of that right on the podcast. I think we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> do we have to lie about ourselves and pretend that we're like a reputable like I bet really if we were honest and we're just like we're a ragtag bunch of people and we just want you to we just want to talk to you about One Piece. Yeah. I feel like we're going to make it happen 2023. I feel like we we need to like I guess. I guess that makes sense because like he's like us. I feel like he's somewhat virginal in the One Piece world. Like I think he's a fan and I think he's watched a bunch or read a bunch. But like I think he's probably like consumed the same amount that we have, but he's also playing Luffy, so he's more in it than us. Yeah. I mean he's a little bit more in it than us. I'm just a little bit. Not a not too <laughs> just much a tiny more. bit. Just not too we're we're are, we're two hundred and fifty seven episodes in. Yeah. yeah. Honk, 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 we're, honk, we're honk, deep. honk, honk. Oh. Goddamn fucking 117 episodes since we last saw Buggy the Clown as well. Buggy the Clown. Buggy Watch. I miss, I miss, um, I miss Richie. Richie's cool. I miss Buggy. He's great. I just miss, I miss all of them. Yeah. I miss Bon Clay. Bon- Are we ever going to see <sighs> Bon Clay again, historian? Yes. Bon Slay. Bon Slay. Yes, will. will we see Bon Clay and Buggy at the same time on screen ever? Yes. <gasps> well, really? Well, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of the exact second. <laughs> oh. In the same arc. <clears throat> yes. And I want to I want to I want to pretty confidently <laughs> say yes. Okay. Mike just <laughs> Do we see the Holy Trinity? Do we see Buggy Bon Clay and Silver Fox Foxy in the same place? No. Fuck. Okay. Oh, do we it. do we I see the, one of the fucked up hair trio? Do we see the other Silver Trinity? Uh, that is not Silver Trinity. Uh, whatever. <laughs> no, the yeah. other Trinity. That's Foxy, Foxy, and Foxy. <laughs> Foxy. No. How, do we see Buggy the Clown, Bond Clay, and Smoker? Oh. Hold on. Kissing. No. Shirts off. I don't. <laughs> I want to say smoker, no crocodile, yes. What? Yeah. Shirts off? Shirts off? Skin to skin. Shirts off. Skin to skin Skin content. Latch on, baby. Sand to clown. (laughs) Sand to chop to clone. Mm. I'm excited about that. All right. Hell yeah. We're almost done with Water 7, folks. We're basically done with this episode no uh, something happens <laughs> <laughs> you know luffy punches something something happens at the very end of these five episodes and boy i want nothing more to stop watching stop doing so. this podcast and go watch more one piece <laughs> because i'm so excited uh i think in these five episodes zoro and luffy are the most they are like they most them they ever are in yeah, that they get stuck in or under something, and then they punch something that's not punchable. Yes, that's it. Done. Hundred percent them. It's beautiful. That's the recap. It's it's truly like oh, these two are the most powerful of all of them, and it's great, and I love it very much. You know, I wish we're gonna get into it. We're just talking. We're only thirteen minutes into this recording. Like, we you are. guys are fine. We got Stop more compla- bits Stop to complaining. Do. Stop complaining, all everybody. The, they're all. Yeah, we can hear you. I forget what I was going to say now because I just started. To, oh, I wish I could like completely erase any knowledge of who joins the Straw Hats because I feel like somebody watching this for the first time would see Frankie and be like, there's there's no way he's the one who joins them. They'd be like, Polly. I would, if I was watching this, I would assume Polly. I would be so in on Polly right now. Yeah. Polly 100% seems like he'd join the crew. Yeah. They're just like, ah, oh, we forgot, like, Smoker's a Marine, so he can't join. So we're going to make Little Smoker yeah, with ropes. Yeah. Like, Polly, Polly, yes, I agree. Polly, like, 100% feels like he's would be the one to join the crew. But also just, I mean, 
at the same time, if you look at it, they literally spent like five episodes on Frankie's backstory. So like, it's kind of obvious. Oh, true. So like, yeah. But from just from the accent actions of the two of them, if we didn't have those like backstory of Frankie episodes, it truly it would be like, oh, Polly's gonna join the crew. Awesome. Yeah. He got finger blasted. He and Luffy became friends. <laughs> he also became friends with Nami. Mm-hmm. The indecent woman. Indecent girl. Yep. Immoral girl. I forget what he calls her. I don't know. I, I like, I'm watching the episodes, but I also have subtitles on. I'm watching them with, yeah. with the English dub, but I also have subtitles on, which don't line up with the English dub. So sometimes I, like, consume the word that is in the subtitle, <laughs> even though it was said a different word Ye- in the you dub. You should... I have a hot take. Yeah? Stop watching it on Netflix. Um, You can try to tell me to stop watching <laughs> it on Netflix as many times as you want. But in my in my dumb brain, I've, like, committed to Netflix because now it's, like, I, started I get the... started on Netflix and then I switched. Well, yeah, but, like, my dumb brain that may or may not have some sort of problems uh, sees... In Netflix, all the episodes have the little red line under it because I've consumed it. And then yeah. if I were to go to a, you just a have different to, you stream, just have to watch all of them again. If I were to go to a different streaming service, the red line would not be there. <laughs> it would not say that I had consumed those 257 episodes. And so uh, it's not it's not real. You know, it didn't happen. You I don't have just, proof. You can go. You can go into the Funimation app and you just you open an episode and you bring the little slider all the way to the right and you just do that for 250 episodes. That's so many. That's Easy. so much work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, historian, we have to delete Netflix until the live action show comes back. Okay. All right. Done. That's what a month oh. and twelve days. <laughs> yeah, I'm not counting. Matt, did you hear that? Honk honk honk. What? Uh, you're you're knocking on something, but it's not coming up. Is that Bluno the door? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. It's episode two fifty three. Two fifty three. I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Flowers. I don't want to do it. I just embarrass myself. I don't want to do this anymore. That's fine. There's flowers. We read. Uh, Sanji kicks a tall man. Recap the last episode. Sanji kicks a tall man. Um, Sanji kicks a tall man. Hell yeah. That's a great name for this episode. That's what he does. <laughs> That's exactly what he does. Um, it starts off and there's just two dudes who like work for the train station and they're basically just talking gossip. I um, think that's 90% of this episode. It's 90% of like a couple of these episodes. <laughs> it's just these two these... fucking goof fucks just like hanging out, just being like, wonder what's going on over there. That dude. Yeah, there's like <laughs> <laughs> just lots of Zora Luffy. Where are you? And then the actually these two are great here because they're so convinced that there's a love triangle happening. They're like, Polly's involved with that girl. <gasps> Who's this Sanji? You don't think? Oh my! They, they yeah. kept talking and doing exposition. They're like, is that is that a f- is that a fifth guy's name she's mentioned? Yeah. But poor Polly doesn't know what's going on. Oh, poor Polly. <laughs> And Polly's yelling at them the entire time. Yeah. Like, they're just talking, and he's just like, hey, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, no. Um, There's a good moment where Nami seems like she's, like, about to, like, break down in tears. And (laughs) she keeps doing this. She, like, flops over, and then somebody's like, oh, no, what's wrong with Nami? And then she gets up, and she's either, like, pumped, or, like, this time she's just fucking livid. She's like, this stupid fucking storm. I don't give a shit. We're getting a boat. It's so great, though. She jumps up, and then Polly just screams, she's pissed! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Dude, Nami's, like, not taking 100% of, like, all the scenes and stuff, but she's so fucking good as just the like. Oh my god! I mean, I sh- get it. I know how we work. I like we're we're ready to just fuck shit up, and I'm gonna try to keep all the boys like coordinated. Yeah, hell like, yeah! And she's a fucking powerhouse in these ones too. She clears like a thirty foot gap. Yeah, she's just leaping from rooftop to rooftop. <laughs> um, fucking uh, does Polly come back after Water Seven? Historian. 
don't you make that face. Don't you say that. No. He'll be back. No. No. There's there's going to be no. there's going to be the like Luffy's like we have to fight the evil king of the pirates, Boofy. And he's got an even bigger ship. And then all of the people ever that Luffy and the Straw Hats have helped all come on their ships. And it's like going to be like, Polly's here and Foxy's here. Gaimon got and off the island and his girlfriend are the here. Blue, the blue haired girl from the desert place is here. And Vivi? Eru's here. <laughs> Vivi? Has, yeah. has it been that long, Mike, that you forget it's the been name like of Vivi? Years. It's been a hundred and we've had so, episodes. We've had so many characters overshadow Vivi. <laughs> <laughs> like Daddy the Father. Oh, poor Vivi. Man, Vivi had such chops to be such a cool badass, and they just she like they got they did like a oh I guess I'm a princess so I don't do anything anymore. She got shot that one time. She did, and she she and Luffy she got fought sh- each other. <laughs> she got off a of drum island and it was just yeah does vivi come back <laughs> luffy did beat the shit out of vivi yeah. never mind vivi's great <laughs> <laughs> does vivi come a few people have taken a beating from luffy and <laughs> survived yeah it, most most characters come back in some way like it's not like we never see well, it's it's hard. It's weird because in the manga, like again, there's those cover stories that kind of follow up with people. Um, mm. One of one of my favorites that once you guys are done Water Seven, I can show you guys is obviously um, Iceberg lost Caulifla as his assistant. So one of the cover oh. stories is him auditioning new assistants and going through the <laughs> interview process, and it's adorable. Um, oh my god! <laughs> so Hope it's you, Tilestone. You can see them in those. Yeah degrees but like other other characters do come back in more important ways i can't say that you'll never see them again because you kind of do um Mm -hmm. but i don't think to the degree of like oh we're getting a couple episodes of polly in the game (laughs) (laughs) that's fine i guess Um, we'll get it in one piece the sequel yeah two piece two (laughs) (laughs) um nami wants a ship so that they can go after uh, the train, and Polly's like, "That's a fucking death wish. Are you stupid?" Um, he says the so- the storm surge is abnormal. Agua L- Laguna is abnormal. Um, yeah, it's hitting harder. They they hit like a big storm surge comes in, and then Polly saves the two train dudes and Nami um, mm-hmm. from getting washed. Oh, this away. is where a background background MVP train schedule. Oh, hell yeah. Train sca- yeah, fucking train schedule. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's like, Agua Laguna's abnormal this year. What's going on? Um, and is this before or after they find Sanji's letter? This is guy? right before. I was just... Right before. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then like up, up at the top of the stairs of the train station, literally like painted in purple on the wall is like this <laughs> giant fucking... Yeah. Like, look here at this note. Um, yeah, some dude runs down. He's like, "Are you Nami? There's this note here for you." And she's like, hey, "It's like it's from Sanji." And they're like, "She's like, how did you know that?" And he's like, "Well," and it just shows like in text, just like yeah. I assume like Nami, my love, whatever. And then Nami reads the letter, it's, and Polly's um, like, "What does it say?" It's what is so the, good. They, it's so uh, good. Netflix does the subtitles for the graffiti, and it's like for Nami's eyes only. Do not touch. Do not read. If you are not Nami, with like just a bunch of hearts around <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. The, so Nami's reading the letter, and Polly is just like immediately. Like, what does it say? And she's like, hold on. Most of this is just a love letter. And it's not until she gets to the postscript yeah. that Sanji's like, oh, I'm on the train. Yeah. She goes, oh, <laughs> the important part starts here. P.S. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, we also see Sanji left a transponder snail so that mm-hmm. uh, he could communicate with Nami once he found one on the train. <laughs> It's like, keep it close to your heart like you do me. Yes. And then she's like, oh, I get it. So we can all talk to him. Yep. And then she puts it Uh, in her boobs. Yep. Her lady pockets. Which are close to her heart. 
Maybe. I feel I like don't, we don't know the full anatomy of One Piece humans. That's true. They're where do you I think, don't think the they heart have is? Vital organs. I think the heart is in the forearms because everyone's fucking forearms are all weird shaped. <laughs> That's what I think. Who? Who's? Wait, what? Nami's arms are so fucking weird looking. Um, well, everyone is like a slender man. Yeah. In one piece. Also, everybody's really tall. Yeah. Also, Frankie doesn't have anything in his body cavity except for soda bottles. Um, mm-hmm. Well, he, he might have more. More soda? There. He might have like more compartments. Like he might have like little like nipple compartments that open up. <laughs> We, like little cannons that come. We, do you think he's like one of the like sex bots from Austin Powers, and he shoots guns out of his nipples? <laughs> I fucking hope so. I didn't think about. Oh my god! Okay, I, I didn't just think about that story, and I a hundred percent, I a hundred percent just called it. I I didn't think I about that at all, but I love that. Let's I go. Won't say it's. I won't say it's guns. <laughs> I will say oh. <laughs> his nipples have purpose. Harpoons. Okay. You guys, you guys hear it? Wait, hear okay. Here first. Okay. Frankie's the only man with purposeful nipples. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. So <laughs> Mike's making that. We can talk about this later because I am in fucking awe of Frankie and his body in general. Um, yeah. Now you are. You were like naysaying before. I was naysaying before. I was mostly just skeptical because motherfuckers don't recognize him even though he's a very noticeable person. Anyway, <laughs> so you're predicting that his nipples shoot guns. I want to predict something else about his nipples. I want to predict that his nipples are like volume knobs and he has like speakers somewhere else on his body. So like when they want to turn the volume up, they turn the nipples. <laughs> like they can mute Frankie yeah, if he gets too loud. By poking his nipples. I think oh that's funny. God. Maybe he like, should they shoot out and he can show people the future. Look into the nipples of the future. <laughs> Powder Toast uh, Man, not Powder Toast Man. No, no, no. no we don't, we don't, we don't support that one. Um, not Powder. Brocco's Modern Life, really, really big man, really, really big man. Not Powder Toast Man. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, no, I apologize. No. Hey guys, did you guys know that the creator of Ren and Stimpy is a bad man who likes to groom young children? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, he's a bad dude. Don't support that. It's not even that good a cartoon, I would argue. Anyway. Sanji's on a train. Yeah. Uh, Nami. For all his faults, he hasn't groomed anybody. <laughs> yep. Um, Sanji's <laughs> on a train. Nami and Chopper are going to go get Luffy and Zoro uh, and then head to Eni's lobby. Mm-hmm. Um, Sanji's on the train. He kicks the dude. <laughs> he's like sitting there. He's like, how am I going to sneak onto this train? And a guy just opens the door and he's like, trains are magical. And then just gets <laughs> kicked in the throat by Sanji. <laughs> I wrote the word "I'll blush." I don't remember what the context was. Um, what? I don't know. Someone said "I'll blush." I don't remember. Hmm. Um, I know Sanji busts in. He's like smoking, and then there's a big guy, and he goes, "Oh, oh Smokey!" Yeah, there's a and big guy named Jerry. This. He's like the tallest yeah. man ever, <laughs> and everyone's like, "Oh man, <laughs> Jerry's gonna beat up this kicking guy." And he's like, yeah. "I was the boxing <laughs> champ on my sh- on my island. Let's go!" Yeah. And then so Plus he plus out yoga style. <laughs> yeah. And Sanji's like, "That gets rid of your your reach. That makes you be able to." He like reaches his arms through his legs, and he yeah. says yoga style. And then Sanji's like, "That makes it harder for you to reach me with your punches." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, I don't think so. Watch this." And he tries to punch Sanji, and then Sanji just says. This is a waste of time. And then just, like, destroys the dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's just, like, a, a league of his own with all these dudes. Um, Man, there's got to be something up with Sanji, I feel like. Like, he's there, he is something. He is, it's just weird. He's so good at all this. It's the smoking. For, is it? Is it the, is it the lung cancer? <laughs> the, smoking, uh, the smoking makes you stronger, right? I don't condone smoking the, cigarettes. The ta in my lungs makes me sh- me stronger. The the um, the ta the tar in the cigarettes in the One Piece universe gives you super foot powers. <laughs> um, he kicks the shit out of Jerry and like everybody else. Uh, 
Then there's some guy, I think, runs. He's like warning everybody about what's happening. He names every single like, oh, no. Marine yeah. and every single car on the train. He's talking to CP9. And he's like, hey, every, hey, CP9, here's the name of all the mini bosses that the Straw Hats have to fight on this train. Yeah. Um, it's like, all right. And there's like Nero, who is another CP9 person. He's the newest member of the CP9. And then I didn't write their names here, but I wrote them somewhere else. The fuck are they? There's like there's like Wawo and Wanba. A Wanba. Wooby. Wooby. The big bloober. Booby boo boo boo. Scoopums. Funk Champ. Twelve. Pete. Smelly Pete. (laughs) Smell. Small Pete. Small Pete. Big Pete. (laughs) Normal Pete. Pickle Pete. Cucumber Pete. And I wrote these names. Jethro. Um, <laughs> every member of the Marine. Oh. Oh, and that one dude That's who's t- the T Bone. Cl- <laughs> Captain T Bone's the coolest fucking Captain guy ever. Captain T Bone fucking rocks. Captain T Bone is the fucking man. I love Captain T Bone. I was all about that fucking guy. I was like, Ooh. is this? Because Historian was like, oh, you're going to meet some new character. Is it, it, it who you're going to love? And then he appeared and he was like, oh, you have a wound. Let me give you part of my cape. Yeah. And I was like, is this did, the man? Because I love this man. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did Oda watch the like third Indiana Jones movie? He's like, that old guy in the cave, I'm going to make him a character. <laughs> he looks T-Bone's so got old. like a real, you chose poorly energy. He looks like a ghoul. Yeah. Um, uh, T-Bone. It's great. Um. Anyway, back at back at Water Seven, <laughs> everyone's staring at the water. Um, and Kokoro's there drinking up a storm as always, and she's like gauging the size. She's like gauging the size of the storm surge. This is gonna be one big wave. Um, yeah, and nope. like tide recedes all the way to the horizon. Yeah, like they there's no water in sight, and everyone's like, "Oh fuck." Um, <laughs> And then we see uh, Chimney spots Luffy. Yeah. Uh, like a couple times before anybody notices. And then shows Nami. Uh, and I think this is... No, it's the next episode that somebody sees Zoro. But yeah. Not- Nami books it. And she jumps like this huge fucking gap. Yeah. She massive gap. Yeah. In heels. Nami, yeah. Sandal heels. Sandal heels. Get it, Nami. Get it. Nami is the in the new Assassin's Creed game. You keep, Assassin's, you, you Creed. keep your heart and your feet in one piece. That's where Hold the on, heart is. I, I have a really important photo to show you. I'm going to find it on my phone very quickly. I know I have it saved. Okay. Is it of... Should we, is it Nami as a, mem- a member of the Assassin's Creed cult? Is it a picture of Nami's foot? Why can't I find it? No, is it's it? Robin powerlifting in heels, and it's like official artwork. Oh, it's official artwork. That sounds like something from that bad it website. Was, no, it's it was 50-50 if the historian had pictures of Nami's feet or Robin powerlifting. <laughs> <laughs> no. And truly, she's probably got both. About. It's probably got both. Let's be fair. It's probably got both. Muscular. Oh, Nami's feet powerlifting. Oh. <laughs> oh, muscle feet. Never mind. I don't know why it doesn't exist <laughs> on my phone anymore. I swear to God, I had it saved because it was hilarious. Every, Google Robin powerlifting, everyone. Do you I'm think you find. saying that made that fun thing where um, everyone's phone then starts Googling that? Oh, no. That'd be like, hey, Google, search a picture of Robin powerlifting from one piece the animated television so, show one piece stampede when the Thank movie you. was coming oh. out i know matt will know this because i make him go to the store whenever we go to uh downtown disney uh uniqlo the clothing store did like a women's workout <laughs> thing um and we got this image out of it oh hell yeah whoa let's go robin <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> In her also, heels with what has to be, assuming those are 45 pound weights, plus the bar, 135 pounds above her head. Get it, get it, Robin. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Uniqlo? Fucking great. 
mainly because of their self checkout is the coolest oh shit ever. God. You just take you take all the clothes you got and you just throw it in a bin and then it just I understand this is like whatever future science. It's probably just like RFID tags in the clothes, but you throw all the clothes into a bin and it just knows what clothes you put in the bin. So you don't have to scan anything. It's just like, oh, you put this, this, and this in the bin. Good job. And then you just pay and you're done. <laughs> the fuck is going on with Disney? What's going on down there? I don't, I think it's, I don't know if Uniqlo is a, I don't think it's like a Disney store. I think it's like No, a, it's a Japanese clothing brand. Yeah. Wait, in Disney? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, motherfuckers out there listening. If you've ever been to a Uniqlo, tell us what your experience is like. This is not sponsored. We're not sponsored. We don't make any money from this podcast. Sorry. But we could be. But we sponsored. could be. Hey, if Uniqlo's out there, I will talk all You're day listening. about your self-checkout technology. It's great. I love it. We'll talk We'll talk about whatever you want. If they had that hey. for every other place you buy things, you just throw <laughs> shit in a bin and it just knows what's in the bin. That's awesome. I love that. You know what else is awesome, Matt? Episode 250. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Casper Mattress. Shut and the fuck up. Ever Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you get us a sponsor? I'll let you do the ad no. read. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it. Hey, everyone. If you want us to keep doing this podcast, <laughs> get it and create a website using Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about Myundies? You know, MeUndies are great. They're comfy. You're 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 wearing your MeUndies and you feel good. You feel vibrant about your body, and you want to go look at a certain subreddit that has a name that's identical to your favorite One Piece podcast. And the best way to do that is using NordVPN. <laughs> to actually, nobody can track. Hey, okay, maybe this will trigger some buzzwords, and somebody will find us now and pay us money. Hey. I'm not interested in me undies. I'm interested in your undies. Buy used clothing that's why from I, Mercari. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I used clothing from Stitch Fix. I don't know anymore. Um, I'm a bad person, and I fast forward <laughs> through the podcasts I listen to when they have advertisements. Everybody does. Do you think everyone Everybody. fast forwards through our bits? That's the I think whole they podcast. fast forward through the entire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why we don't timestamp anything because that we they can't know. Hey everyone, this is a One Piece podcast, and also Sanji says, "Let's move on to the next episode." <laughs> episode two fifty four. Zoro versus a chimney, but not chimney. Oh, Mike. Um. Oh, Episode. background MVP, Funk Freed. Funk Freed, fuck yeah. Funk Freed. Fuck yeah. Mike, your episode funk, naming, yeah. fuck, fuck. your episode what? names are getting better and better. Thank you. I had, well, there was one. Talk about the episode, I'm going to look for it. All right. Uh, Nami's running on rooftops in the back streets of Water 7 to try to get to <laughs> Luffy, who's stuck between two buildings like an idiot. Um... There's a bunch of Galley Law Company dudes who are like, wait, we got to stop her. And then Polly's like, no, don't. Like, she's either going to make it back or she's not. And if she's not going to make it back, let me worry about it. Um, so then Nami's off running. Chopper then spots. Uh, he thinks it's like a sea anemone sticking out of um, a chimney. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a bunch of green sticking out of a chimney. And then he's like, wait, what? And then his eyes focus and it's just Zoro's legs. Um, <laughs> and then he's just like, oh, Zoro. So then we get Chopper running to get Zoro. Nami's running. We see off in the distance the enormous wave coming from the horizon. Um, and then Nami gets as far as she can. She's like on the rooftop just across from where Luffy is stuck between the two buildings and then Nami starts yelling at Luffy. Um, and I think at this point she was basically like, I'm not going to be able to get him out myself. I'm going to just get him so upset emotionally that he explodes. Um, which is what happens. Um, 
My episode title for 219 was Sweet as Victory, Love You More Than Luffy Itself, which I think is pretty good. But also, I think my favorite is Sanji Kicks a Kid. (laughs) (laughs) It was very good. I should be like, I should try to like document all these fucking stupid titles. That'd be very Um, good. Did we get to the big wave? What happened? Curse sword? Nami's yelling at Luffy. She tells him about Robin and what her actual like intentions were it gets very emotional and tender and then luffy's face i just love how emotional and tender like nami's crying and upset and being like robin loves us and then luffy's like like being emotional and his face is just so fucked up the whole time yeah like it's like this (laughs) he's got like fish lips it's this deep emotional like moment but his face is just the (laughs) most fucked up it possibly could squish the whole time it's great yeah it's just he's getting more and more angry and powering up. Yeah. Um, um, yes. When Chopper reaches Zoro, uh, we see like Chopper trying to pull him out, and he can't do it. And then Zoro's like, "Wait, do you have my cursed sword? You have Katetsu. I can never." Yeah. <laughs> and Chopper's like, "How do you know?" He's like, "Oh, it's cursed, so I can always tell." Which is, you know, kudos to. I know I like poo poo on Zoro. I love Zoro. Don't get me wrong. I think it's very hilarious. I think it's f- so good that he's like, oh, yeah, this thing is completely, this is like a demonic sword that nobody should have, but it's fine. Yeah, but he's mine, so it's fine. It's good. Yeah. We didn't kill each other yet. That It knows its place. Yeah. Um, Luffy says, I'm glad when he has the news of Robin, and then he explodes two buildings. Um, yep. Which Boom. was one of our games a few... Yeah, a while. I remember that one. I thought that was going to happen earlier, the first time he got lodged in the buildings. Yeah, um, that was a while back. When was that? Uh, that know, was like last year May sometime. 30th, that was the game, when Luffy wow. explodes the buildings. I looked back in the, f- and with in the, the time. And with that, we're done with the game forever. Yes. <laughs> um... But yeah, Luffy explodes the buildings and, and releases himself. Zoro then one sword styles thirty six caliber phoenixes the chimney that he's yeah. in <laughs> um, somehow. <laughs> so then l- both of them explode just as l- the enormous like fucking tsunami wave is about to hit. Luffy snags Nami, Chopper rumble balls and grabs Zoro, and then the four of them basically make it back to like the stone bridge um, just yep. below the like shipbuilders island. Um, and it's like they're safe, and then another huge wave crashes on them. Yes, but but motherfucking but, Polly, Polly's there with his rope tricks, roping it up, and he catches all four of them with his ropes, and then he pulls them back. Um, and then as soon as they get back, they're like, "Run!" And then they gotta run away from another wave. <laughs> they get back up to like the shipbuilder's island that's higher up. Um, oh my god it's so good <laughs> they're all just like out of it and Chopper is just latched onto Zoro's face just choking him Zoro cannot breathe <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Kokoro's there and she's like I'm impressed <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a note that says fisheye Luffy there's like a uh, his face fish eye lens like, shot of ooh. Luffy where it's like all like warped and weird and upsetting. Yeah. And Chopper says something about like rats Zoro out for getting stuck in a chimney. Yeah. Everyone laughs at him. And I think Zoro starts to strangle Chopper. They have a Homer and Bart moment. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. One hundred percent that's what that is. It's very good. <laughs> um, hey, somebody Photoshop that, please. <laughs> I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> Bart's physical features with like Tony, Tony chopper added on. <laughs> it's Zoro is Homer. Yeah. Um, Nami's <laughs> catching everybody up on what's going on. And then we cut over and we see Spondom. Spondom. And he's got an elephant. Yeah. And he's just like gloating about himself. Positive self-talk. That's what Spondom's about. Mm-hmm. He's like, I've achieved so much in my career. I made CP9 what it is today. I fell 16 feet off of Hell in a Cell into the announcer's table, and I survived. And also my elephant looks like he fell 16 feet off of Hell in a Cell <laughs> into announcer's table from the Tusker ta- taker. 
Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. That's that's nothing. Sanji kicks some guys. Sanji kicks some guys. His he has a really gross <laughs> head for a bit. I was very upset. <laughs> I was very upset. <laughs> what? He kills. He he like he like knocks out a ton of fucking guys and then i don't know his face was fucking drawn so weird like his head was like a weird oblong and his like chin was like huge and i didn't like it at all um (laughs) i was very off put by it it was like as he was like walking through one of the cars it was like a very long shot of his head looking all fucked up um huh i didn't like it a lot of fucked up heads in this episode i could (laughs) spend scary luffy yeah oh yeah um jump scare luffy and then basically after getting caught up with everything luffy's just like well there's only one thing to do we gotta set off and rescue him right away yep and that's the end of the episode to be continued in episode uh oh this one's good huh this one's good when sanji met frankie (laughs) ah I've never Lovers. seen whatever movie I was referencing. I don't remember. I remember that it's When Name Met Name. I believe it's When Harry Met Sally. I haven't seen it. Never seen it. Never seen it. Is it that? Is it never by gonna. that fucking guy? Is it by that guy? The guy who married his daughter? Yeah. The guy that married his stepdaughter? <laughs> yeah. His mother-in-law be so mad. We made jokes on a different podcast about it. Anyway, yeah. his mother-in-law um, slash ex-wife. <laughs> God, Hollywood's so fucked up. I started I st- background. I started to get a I got a TikTok the other day and it was like how to become your own grandfather and then it started like going through the process of who you need to marry and divorce and I was like I don't I don't need to watch this. I don't I don't need to know the process of becoming my own grandfather. I think I'm good on that one. I think I'm good out here. Um uh, <laughs> it's it's so it's it's really incredible how quickly we became like the shittiest cyberpunk future (laughs) it's like we don't have any of the cool neon lights we don't have cool i'd like give me a cool tech arm or something at least have you seen that nope have you seen that cool dome they have in las vegas now i've only seen (laughs) videos of it as (laughs) a big orb yeah i think that's kind of cool i've only seen memes of it i saw one of like captain olimer twerking (laughs) on the dome (laughs) <laughs> yeah, is that like? Do, is that people just like edit stuff onto it? Like, what is what is it? I like, have no idea what it actually is, but yeah, it's become basically its own mean template of everyone putting. You know, it's like oh, I put my Minecraft server on the Vegas Dome or whatever. I, I'm not sure who did it or if it's supposed to be an art installation or something. All I do know is that it's bothering a golf course. So it's important. Oh, to yeah. yeah. Fucking run it down. Yeah. Maybe. Run it down. Is that they're Why? trying to hit their three par and there's just a giant blinking eyeball in yeah. the Vegas distance. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, we talked about climate change before in the podcast. Uh, golf courses are the worst because they use too much liquid in water uh, for yeah. nothing. They, Grass is not a good uh, crop. Doesn't serve any purpose. You also just can't reuse that land anymore for like crops or anything. You can always like only build on top of it yep uh, on a, a place where uh i used to live and maybe two other people still live i think like 75 percent of it is golf courses yeah. yeah it's fucked up it's fucked up per capita we <sighs> have just... some of the most golf courses in the world it sucks it's stupid yeah. it's you can't grow crops that's grass is the stupidest crop ever and it's like the <laughs> most fucking like really poisoning it's stupid water supplies and stuff grows some fucking I, i'm gonna shit. Off, i'm gonna offend our golfing fans whatever like it's i i've i've hit a golf ball with a golf club before sure. it is hard i would still argue it is the sport that requires the least amount of skill out of any sport because there's not as much physical demand on you if half of my sport is driving around in a little car and day drinking it's not a sport mm-hmm Com- compared to like the high impact of like any other sport bowling I'm not, I'm not, sport yeah i'm not gonna start you, a vendetta against golf i think it's i, I will i think it's fine <laughs> i just don't think the emphasis needs to be made so much on keeping you don't need that grass. much fucking space <laughs> like fucking whatever 
wood chips, baby. My point is the the <laughs> lower the skill of a sport, the more space it seems to fucking need. I don't know about that. Have you seen uh, people who do um, fuck? What's the thing on the ice with the little rock? curling? Curling. That doesn't take up as much space as a golf course. Yeah, but that's probably the least amount of physical effort. It's also you just reusing push a rock down space. the ice. No, no. There's a lot of precision and skill and um, beauty that goes into that <laughs> so compared to golf, which just looks shitty all the time. There's a lot, there's a lot of there's a lot of sensual movement and that don't, is done. Don't get me wrong. There's like <laughs> golf down at the bottom, and then like mid tier is mini golf. What do you think the What do you th- <laughs> What do you think the uh, the crossover between people who love golf <laughs> and One Piece is probably small. Hopefully Do you think this small. is earning us more fans by having a vendetta against? Let's see who have we who have we written off this episode? Golf, Tim- Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Something else. We wrote off. We wrote off well, something the else. Dude, the dude who married his stepdaughter, right? Oh yeah, Woody uh, Allen. Uh, Woody Allen. <laughs> yeah, the bad Woody. Um, there was something else. It's fine. At least the third worst Woody. <laughs> <laughs> We're just making enemies this episode, and that's fine. You know it's who fine. also makes well, enemies? Like cats. The straw Pippa? hats. Oh. And Pippa. Pippa is purring up a storm. Oh, my gosh. She is loving life. People are going to love that. Um, the people are here. Pippa also doesn't like golf. Pippa hates everyone and everything. If you're going to just hang out with people and drink, you can do it in other ways. You can go fishing. You can play frisbee golf. You can play frisbee golf. Look at They just keep the trees up because it's a fun obstacle. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's golf at the bottom, frisbee golf at the top. Anything that involves a frisbee is like <laughs> just peak human sport. <laughs> Frisbees are the best thing to be thrown around. Football, replace it with a frisbee. Basketball frisbee. <laughs> I feel like you replace uh, any of those sports with a frisbee and it's ultimate frisbee. Like <laughs> curling frisbee. <laughs> um, boxing frisbees on your hands. <laughs> MMA, two frisbees that you throw against each other. Do you think people actually play, you know, like in uh, di- like the disc wars in Tron? Um, mm-hmm. Do you think that's actually a thing people do in real life? We could do that. Oh, my God. If we got three dunk takes on each side with full platforms and you're just trying to hit the targets behind them, that's basically Ooh, Tron. That's pretty fun. Or you try, to, you try to knock their legs out. And it would be refreshing on a hot day. Wait, hold on. Do you I just wanna? had the realization. Mike, are you only pro Frisbee because of uh, that one game that was ported on Nintendo? Nintendo Switch that you make us play all the time, <laughs> and I can't think of the name right now, and I'm really mad. The perfect video game, Windjammers. Windjammers. <laughs> Windjammers is so good. Hell Listen, comes back to stop what you're doing. Windjammers, Windjammers two, two of the best video games. They're perfect. No, I, I, there's definitely bias because the only uh, athletic thing I can do is throw a frisbee. <laughs> you can, you, you can. The only thing I know how to. You do. can skateboard. I've seen I can like longboard. I've seen you skateboard. That is skateboarding. No, skateboarding is like doing cool tricks. Longboarding is accepting that you're going to go down a hill really fast and what maybe it, die. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> All right. I can rollerblade. So I know how to throw a football. I want to get back around. What's more I American get... than that? This is a one piece podcast. I want to get back. You know what else is American? <laughs> Frankie. I want to get back. No, he's not. I want to get back around. <laughs> <laughs> yes. America doesn't exist. In One Piece. There's no universe where America doesn't exist. I'm going to circle back around, though. Uh, if we ever do, uh, I think if we do a, a Fun Piece live event, uh, we'll do, when we ever, when we, have, when we have Fun Piece Con, um, <laughs> I'll get the ball pit. We'll get the, we'll get two dunk tanks and everyone can play um, Fun Disc and throw discs at each other while they're standing on dunk tanks. And Do you think we can set it up so they have to hit us in the face and then <laughs> that way the our, the back of our head hits like a thing that <laughs> dunks us? I think we can do whatever we want. 
Uh, it's not one piece without some head trauma. Hell yeah. Episode 255. Episode 255. We're when Sanji met Frankie, background MVP is the Frankie family guy who looks like an egg. Hell yeah. Love that one. He's a good I one. Remember him. <laughs> He's a good one. Um, Polly's not happy about the Straw Hats leaving. He's like, that's a bad idea. There's big waves. It's too wet out there. Yeah. You're going to get wet. What are you thinking? Why are you? It's not possible. You're going to die out there. It's me, Polly. Oh, and then they talk about Annie's lobby, and Ami's like, oh, yeah, I heard of that. It's called the Gates of Justice. Yep. They're, like, big doors. And then Polly says something about, like, if you go beyond them, then you're, like, in Navy or, like, Marine, yeah. like, seas. There, yeah. There's Navy HQ and Impel Down, which is an underwater prison. Yes. Which, hey, Matt. Yeah. Sure seems like a good place to put people with devil fruit powers. It does. It seems like it might be a place where we might see some we folks see. we've met before who might have been captured. Mm-hmm. Like 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 Bon Clay. Bon Clay. L- and maybe Crocodile. Is that his name? I was gonna say alligator. Like Buggy the Clown. <gasps> uh, you guys heard it. When we get to Impel Down in 500 episodes, we're gonna see Buggy the Clown. You know it's gonna. I, you know it's. <laughs> you know it's. I'm. I'm excited about that. But also, Mike, I just now had the realization we might see someone that we haven't seen for a very long time who we don't want to see. I feel like we might see someone who, whose name we. Do not say on this podcast who we fucking hate more than anything. I don't know. I may. No. I, I feel no, like we the last might time we see. Saw, we might see that the fuck last, Clahador. The last time we saw him, he was on his own ship being annoyed that Luffy had a bounty. Is that true? I'm pretty sure that's the last time. Because I remember us seeing him and being like, oh, my God. Well, maybe he's been captured. So maybe he's not captured and he's just, like, given up because he realized he was the worst pirate to ever exist. Maybe. You know those people who tried to bully Galley Law and just got their shit kicked in? Yeah. Still better pirates than Clahador. Maybe. Dude probably didn't even make it to the Grand Maybe line. he's just, like, been overtaken at this point and he's on Foxy's crew. I mean, his his right-hand man joined the Marines. It's true. He did. <laughs> So bad a pirate he is. I'm just saying, there's a possibility we might see that fuck Clahador, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We might, we might see somebody we, two people we really want to see. Who? We might see Kobe and Helmeppo. Maybe they're working the prison. Maybe we'll see Big Bro Johnny and Yasuko. Ooh, and they have bigger muscles. And they're like, we use 12 swords now because we want to be like Zoro. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah. Are we going to see Big Bro Johnny and Yasuko ever again, Historian? You got to watch the show. Just Uh, watch the show. But what? what, I want something to look forward to. Hold on. I got a good question. What does Luffy become? Does Luffy find the One Piece and become King of the Pirates? That's a great question. We don't know yet. What? We're still waiting. (laughs) Historian keeps saying that there's a character that tries to give Luffy all the answers, uh, being like, I'll tell you all the answers and tell you exactly where to go for the One Piece, and then Luffy tells him to shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that is hilarious oh, to me. That. That, that's hilarious to me. But also, sometimes you just want someone to tell you all the answers so you can just get there faster, you know? Sometimes Does Luffy give like a speech? He's like, listen... He showed. I when I'm upset, the waves are angry. When I'm sad, it rains. Do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm fucking Monkey D. Luffy, and the world bends to my will. Cause legitimately, he's got the most character shield a character has ever had. Not nobody's any... been impaled this many times. It's true, except for Yamcha. I except let's jump except for Yamcha. Let's jump forward because he d- he has been impaled. He was impaled by Lucci's claw, his his stupid fucking cat claw. The, these episodes actually made it all make a lot of sense to me. I f- like I I get it now. 
Luffy gets a hole put in him, he eats some meat, the he hole does. closes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just RPG rules. Here's th- it's like <laughs> it's like when you're playing like Breath of the Wild or whatever, like Zelda, and you're like you get shot with like a laser beam and you explode and then like while mid flipping in the air you just eat 500 apples and you're fine (laughs) that's the way that luffy operates and then zoro just does the other thing where he just takes naps and that heals all of his wounds question do you think when luffy Mm -hmm. eats the meat is he absorbing its nutrients or is the meat just becoming part of his body um, there is a difference. I, don't know. I think I, th- <laughs> I think he eats it, and you just would see the whole like close. Nice, I love it. Hey, um, Polly says if they go to the Marine headquarters, Impel down in his lobby, that they're going to be picking a fight with the whole government. Um, and then Luffy's like, "Well, I'll steal a ship. Then I'm a pirate <laughs> after all." <laughs> Um, then Kokoro's like, no, I've got a train. And everyone's like, what the fuck? She, train, she's like, Kokoro. You're dumb. Let's go ride on my train. <laughs> Hot and has a train. Hell yeah. I forgot that Luffy called her monster grandma. That's a good It's name. very good. It's very good. She's just like, come with me. Uh, we'll go to my sea train. After everyone's like, there was only one train. And she's like, come on over to my train. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> Um, we cut over to Sanji just walking into the next train car and just mowing down uh, dudes. Well, he is this the one where he just walks in and he's like trying to just be casual about it, and then everyone's like, "What? What? what who's this guy?" Yeah, they're like, <laughs> like he's obviously broken on the train. Yeah, and then he just he's just like beats the dudes up, and then there's two dudes with hmm. swords. Um, Sanji knocks them out. Yep like easily i i have a note here if we manage to get a netflix show that runs for more than like one season and doesn't become awful i'm calling it that this scene will be an old boy style hallway scene of sanji fighting like dozens and dozens and dozens of marines you know old boy or like oh, yeah. Dare, they had it in daredevil I know they had like the, the, sh- the hallway shot of him fighting through a bunch of guys in like one take I think it's going to That's what this is going to be. I think it's going to take a lot. Like I'm I'm I have huge high hopes and excitement for the live action One Piece show. I think it's going to take a lot to it would take a lot to get to this point in the show. Yeah. There is so much that fucking happens 5 the, seasons, 10 seasons. Yeah. Um a walking dead amount of seasons. Um God, if we can get that much Walking Dead, we should be able to get like twenty seasons Wa- of the yeah, highest selling but like, book of all Walking time. Walking Dead right? didn't have a goddamn fucking gun that ate a dog dog fruit that shoots baseballs at someone to then hit the baseball no. to hurt people, or like a lady who turns into a mole and digs into the ground, or a dude whose candle head makes a big giant Halloween wax cake. And then a guy tries to cut his own legs off. Um, or, like, a dude uses his feet to break a buzzer's head. Somebody tries to cut their own legs off in Walking Dead. Like a dude... I know there's a guy with a baseball bat, and he fights um, Heihachi and Noctis and King. You are... You are... I'm talking about Tekken. You're talking about Tekken. <laughs> there's a Walking Dead character in Tekken. Yeah, Negan. Yeah, and anyway, yeah, this and he's yeah. Uh, him and Noctis know each other. They're friends. Yeah. Final Fantasy. This is Walking a one. Dead this is a One Piece crossover. podcast. This is a One Piece podcast. We're off the my listen. Two fifty six is like half a page of notes. Nothing happens. Sanji kicks Frankie when he sees he meets up with Frankie and um yeah. fucking Usopp. Boots and he's he kicks boots him right in the face. Boots him right in the face. Um, and then Sanji and Usopp and Frankie all just start like fighting and yelling at each other <laughs> and then this is the first time we see captain t-bone captain t-bone his face and every all the marines are like he's so scary looking yeah um, but he's so nice yeah we cut over like, <laughs> coker is this when he tears a piece of his cape off cape off yeah he just taking shreds there's off like of his fucking 
yeah he's like maureen what is that injury he's like oh i got bit by a bug and i scratched it and he's like take a piece of my cape yes. you, it's you, not much but it'll do it'll do it was you must take it or you'll love you'll never survive t-bone's the man historian wh- historian what, what do you think the likelihood of me and matt obsessing over t-bone for the next like 20 episodes is yeah okay is he around <laughs> Or is it is it just like a character that we saw once and we're going to be obsessing about him for another hundred episodes? Yeah. yeah, good, 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 good. Do you think Captain first, T- first fun piece shirt is just T boner? Do you think Captain T bone <laughs> and Garp had like a really really lonely night out there on the sea and they were just like, hey, maybe we should just like have a night together and just like not think about not think about like the con- like any sort of like like sort of relationship <laughs> constructs that were like laid out in society that we need to follow like let's just be two people here on this ship loving one another holding one another i love you gop <laughs> i love you gop so much here um, take take my cape put it on your dick um i just I remember this podcast has an explicit tag so nobody can be mad i can say dingus um I just think Garp. I, hey, hey, you motherfuckers out there making fan art! Can you draw some <laughs> fan art of Garp and Captain T Bone getting uh, getting AKG that bone? bone? <laughs> T Garp, T Barp. No, I like G Bone. I think G Bone is the ship name. G Bone. Mm-hmm. Historian, do you think there's any uh, fan art of the two of them together? I was just trying to quickly look. Not a single piece of T-Bone fan fiction exists, exists on Archive. Whoa. We're starting a trend, baby. One Piece fandom. Slacking. You have so many things to work with and so many fans, and yet we miss the obvious ones. <laughs> Completely obvious. <laughs> How much Foxy fanfic is there? I'm I'm so on the Foxy train. I'm gonna get a pinup tattoo of Foxy at some point. <laughs> I don't know where. I don't know when. It's probably gonna be in a place that like will only be revealed in a moment of deep intimacy. You should do it like on the <laughs> inside of like your thigh, <coughs> like way up, like okay. way up at the top of your like inside of your thigh. <laughs> I want to get one of those like butterfly heart tramp stamps, but make it Foxy themed. <laughs> it could be um, like the heart is like his hair. Um, oh, <laughs> and then like, as you pull your says, underwear down, it just reveals his fucking face. <laughs> just says fit, 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 fit in like curly font. And then his mouth is your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> so there's only seven pieces of fan fiction, including Silver Fox Foxy. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, the one with. Is there an explicit the, the one? Newest, the newest updated one. This was updated December 16th, 2022. <laughs> Let's go. It's, kind of, it's, a, it's a dry spell. Within the year, <laughs> though. Silver <laughs> Fox hold Mikey. Hold Within the year. Hold on. <laughs> Please do not interrupt because I promise this is going to pay off. Okay, <clears throat> so the title is called He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not. This warrants an explicit filter, which is the highest filter you can get on Archive of Our Own. Please let it be yes, known. Yes. This is a One Piece Harry Potter crossover. <laughs> I'm not going to get into the plot line or anything, but let it be known in the update. Um, says, coming soon, chapter three, colon, Foxy giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> Foxy giving birth. Oh. Foxy give. I'm going to chapter three, me, guys. I'm me, sorry. Uh, I'm who does going. he give birth to? Uh, is it a new child or uh, is it a member of his crew? Uh, oh, I need to know. I some I sometimes think, Matt, that you and I say lewd, crazy, uh, just obscene things, and then the internet, the internet's there proves us wrong. That I, I've I've only scratched the surface, <laughs> and my imagination does not reach the bowels that. <laughs> Okay, so this this is this is banned because one of the other relationships in this fan fiction <clears throat> oh, is a spoiler. God. It's no, it's not. It's Smoker and Onion, like the little boy Onion. 
Oh no! This. Why would they do that? I don't. Mm, what? What? Why would they do that? Hey. Oh god. Different. Sorry. Uh, unrelated to this, what do you think's the weirdest liquid you could put in Frankie's bottles? <laughs> <laughs> The weirdest? I can't well, just like what? What's what? What's the funniest liquid you could put in Frankie's bottles? Olive oil. I mean, like fizz. <laughs> <laughs> is that when he turns like Italian and he's like, "Oh, is this a liquid?" <laughs> <laughs> like a liquid. Um, you just put flour. <laughs> God, archive of our own. <laughs> is it a hellscape? It's a nightmare. This website Bye. shouldn't exist, but also I'm very glad it exists. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this recap of this episode. Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm it's I'm fine. Tuned out now, guys. We we watched five episodes, so we're like so confident in our recapping abilities. They've gotta they've gotta like have cross promoted Frankie with like an official soda brand, like Frankie meets Pepsi Man. Ooh, I don't hate that. Is Frankie yeah, right? a, is Frankie a Coke or a Pepsi guy? Do you think? Mm, Pepsi, Pepsi. Yeah, I, I disagree. Pepsi. I disagree. I think he's a classic Coke fella. No, no, I don't think so. The reason I'm the top is, really... the top is blue, the bottom's red. Matt, what does that remind you of? That reminds me of, of Coca Cola. I'm co- no, I'm confidently Pepsi, and it's because of this one promotional shoot that Britney Spears did um, when she was in like the peak of her '90s career. Like, tell me that's not Frankie. Podcast. Oh yeah, that is Frankie, man. Do you think Oda just saw that and was like, "Oh, I'm gonna make a character and based off of that"? Yeah. Why is is like? Oh, it's red on the top and blue on the bottom. I fucked that up. Yeah, you did. Is that Nami? It's like Nami's entire aesthetic based off of Britney Spears. That could be also true. I mean, Nami's a redhead, though. Different. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She might die it. Anyway. But then we'd never know who she is. Kogoro has a secret base with a second sea train. Has a secret base. The second sea train's second name sea is train. Rocket Man. Its name is He's Rocket Man. He's a crazy Man. train. Crazy train. Um, ice. Who's there fixing it? Iceberg's there fixing it. Ice pops. He's got. S- he's it. got a soft spot for idiots. But Nami's not there. Where's Nami? Where's Nami? Oh, she, <gasps> here she comes. Here she comes. She's got a giant <laughs> bag of food and drinks, meat and booze, and it's f- and the boys eat it. <laughs> Luffy and Zoro are like, "Why are you taking so long, Nami? We gotta get going." And then she's like, "I brought food and drinks," and then immediately like. Immediately They're cuts <laughs> it cuts to Zoro and, and Luffy like digging through the bag, being like, "Oh, we're sorry, we were mad. Thanks, Nami." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're gonna get on the train, but the train is called the crazy train because you once it starts going, you can't control its speed; it just goes. Mm-hmm. Let's go the yeah, Rocket Man. Uh, Iceberg is burning out its <laughs> fuel out here together. Yeah, Kokoro is like Iceberg. Watch Chimney and Gombe. And he's like, can do. Um, can don't, if you ask I did, me. I did rewind. And it's like, you don't. Chimney and Ganbe, nowhere to be seen in this shot as yeah. the train leaves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, um, then the Frankie family appears. And they're like, yeah, please. They got their king bulls. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, sorry. This is before. Yeah. They, they arrive and they're like, please, we beg you. And they're like, why should we? And then Luffy's like, you guys are friends now. Says, hurry up. Let's go. Um, and then who snuck on? Polly. Polly. Polly's on the train. That rascal. He's going to be on the crew. And we're going to find out more about him being on the train in episode. Episode 256. AKA, the galley law of my Frankie family is my straw hats. No, is that pushing it? But like the enemy of my enemy is my friend, but I replaced all the nouns <laughs> with different nouns. I I got it after you just explained it. 
That's the best kind of joke. <laughs> I thought you were doing one of those she X on my Y till I Z setups. So it went right over my head. I'm sorry. She she Frankie's on my Sanji till I Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than she Frankie is on my Zoro till I Sanji. Or she <laughs> Usopped on my chopper <laughs> till I Luffy'd. He enterude on my Gaimon till I buggied. <laughs> um I don't like this bit. <laughs> this bit makes me uncomfortable. You Kokoro on my Kokoro till I Kokoro. <laughs> you Koza on my Koza till I Koza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about this? You Tom on my Tom till I Tom. <laughs> anyway, Shanks on Shanks on my uh, um, Pearl. Till I why did why was Pearl the name? I don't know. Why did I remember that guy? Do you remember Pearl? I don't remember Pearl. I remember Paula. You don't remember? Was it what? Who I said I remember Paula? Was that the spiky lady? Yeah, spiky lady. I'm pretty sure her name was Paula. Okay. I can't fucking believe the historian. You know, you remember Pearl, right? The part of um the Baratier arc. It was uh, the dudes, that guy. Uh, oh, Von, B- okay. Krieg. No, he, he, see, I always remember him. It's the, yeah, the iron, Pearl, the iron wall. But yeah, he's like the giant shield guy. <laughs> oh. The worst. Just the absolute worst. <laughs> it's like Clahador and then Paul is like a smidge above Clahador. I d- Two characters I'd banned from existence. I did not remember that character. I could not. I did not remember. I'm so sorry. I apologize. You're welcome. Historian, do we see Pearl again? No. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Hawkeye Mihawk. <laughs> Hawkeye Mihawk. Uh, Rocket Man. Hawkeye Mihawk. <laughs> takes off. <laughs> Taking off. It's just going. Zoom in. It launches itself even. Yep. Right out of the gate. And then the Frankie family hooks onto the back of the train. With their two giant monsters yeah they're they're king bulls which seem to be big yagara which are also bulls and their names are like... sodom and gomorrah mm-hmm. what oh i missed their that. names are sodom and gomorrah <laughs> which is the funniest <laughs> thing it's great I... is this a is that a reference yeah from like the bible i've never read it come on mike i've never went to sunday school don't even know who this Jesus guy is everybody keeps talking about. There's like a movie about it. Come on. Jesus? Sodom and Gomorrah. Come on, Mike. Is that the one where like the two single women live in the apartment and those two greaser guys show up occasionally? Um, no, nah, it's the one Oh, it's Laverne and Shirley. It's Sorry. The one about um it's the one about uh Sodom is like a group of, of preppy looking guys and then Gamora are guys who wear leather jackets and they have a lot of grease on themselves and mm-hmm. uh, one member of the Gamora gang is uh, uh, he dyes his hair gold in blonde after he uh, kills a guy accidentally in a scrap and then three of the Gamora guys uh, go and they hide out in an abandoned house for a while um, but one of them's kind of messed up real bad. And then some other guy, the Gamora gang's in the hospital. Um, and then I, I don't remember that part of Greece. And then at one point, <laughs> uh, right before is a person this, leaves. No, he, this isn't Greece. This is why can't I, I think of the name. It's, it's stay at one Pony po- Boy. Uh, at one point, uh, one of the guys Cry looks, baby. looks at one of the, the, the guy who colored his hair and goes, Stay Gamora, Pony Boy. It's young, hot Rob Lowe. Yeah. It's called... I know what movie you're talking about. I don't it, know, remember what it's called. It, Leather Jackets. It's called The Outsiders in the Sodom outside. and Gomorrah. <laughs> this has been your Bible Minute. 
uh, our new segment on Fun Piece. Yep. <laughs> Welcome. It's when, remember that time? <laughs> remember that time when Tony Tony Chopper uh, dyed his hair blonde? Man, we should have saved this for when um, <laughs> they part the sea or they <laughs> puncture a hole in the sea. That's fine. We can still do it. <laughs> anyway, they're racing along with their train. They connect to the train. Kokoro gets the train on the railway in the ocean. The railway is like yeah. in the ocean. I don't know if we've talked about this. The railway is like floating on the waves. Like just under the ocean. Somehow magic technology stuff. Yeah. It's, Tom explained it. It's fine. I'm sure it makes some kind of sense. It's fine. Kokoro gets the train onto the railway. As soon as she does, it takes off real fast. But right before it does... Just, huh? She she spots Chimney and Ganbei. Yeah. Or snuck on. And Luffy is on top of the train during all of this. Yes, he is. Having a great time. Uh, um, and basically they're like, you gotta get inside. Also, Kokoro's like, what are you doing out there, Chimney and Gombe? You were supposed to stay with Iceberg. And they're like, we're having a great time. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the first time I think we see either Chimney or Kokoro exasperated when she starts to like no, Chimney's not even bothered when she's about to fall to her death. Yeah. She's like, yeah, this is fun. Um, Kokoro, though, completely, like, scared. Just losing. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, and I think they just get launched back into the family, the Frankie family, and then it, like, cuts to an ice- iceberg flashback to Frankie coming home. Yes. Fucking, okay. At this point, we learn that Frankie is the one who rebuilt his own body after he got hit mm-hmm. by a fucking train. How did yeah. Frankie rebuild his body? Did he have one working hand and that one hand fixed every other part of his body slowly? How did he rebuild himself from feet. being exploded by a train? It's probably just his feet. Also, what technology? Who had the sur- he had the surgical precision to open up his own chest cavity and create a life support system that runs on goddamn Coca-Cola? Or Pepsi, he, or whatever. He robocopped himself. But yeah, have you ever robocopped yourself, man? I've never robocopped myself in public. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie just had like the uh, foresight to replace the baby food with soda. But like, I just. <laughs> Yo, speaking of the Bible, RoboCop is the best Bible movie. Really? Yeah, RoboCop is Jesus. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So he was okay, okay. So where was <laughs> where was the it. part about Jesus shooting a bunch Ice of cops in the dick? Um, well, he doesn't shoot cops. In sorry, dick. criminals he in shoots. the dick. <laughs> it's um, uh, it's J- Joseph three twelve. It's a good season. That's a good episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> um, 312 um anyway i'm just confused at how frankie rebuilt his body he with no help do we ever get ex- may have had help. is it ever expanded upon historian maybe yaka yakazuna is what expanded on how frankie's body got rebuilt no we choose to believe he's just that good what the mm-hmm. fuck I like he's good. He was trained by Tom. I understand yeah. that, but like I imagine him. You have a lot of. Uh, what is your gripe with Frankie? I I just like. <laughs> I don't. Uh, until I find out what he did with those two million berries or two hundred million berries, I am skeptical. Pornography, probably. Probably pornography and T-shirts. Also, I just. I also, just. I wanted to choose to believe that Frankie had a very like white tiger power ranger moment where basically he was like lying on a slab and there was like Kokoro and Yokozuna and iceberg all like in a, in the secret base with Frankie's like fucking pieces of his body laying and they're just sitting there like, all right, okay. So, what do we have we can put in here? And then like, they just look over and there's just a pile of trash and they're like, all right, get those chains. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of those soda bottles. Put those in there too. 
Like, I just want to see that where they're just like grabbing shit from around the, the workshop. And they're like, yeah, just just shove it in there. And then they're like sewing it up. And they're like, he's, 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 back, like... To, he's back to good. He's all good. <laughs> You, you don't like the mental image of Frankie just arms completely shattered and blown off, just reassembling his arms with a bunch of garbage and like no, a hole somewhere. That's, no, that sounds sad. Mine yeah, is no, funnier. Mine's funnier. He's probably screaming for a while in pain. And then he's just like, yeah, wait, no, this is great. And then just starts disemboweling himself <laughs> and replacing it with mechanical. Yeah, parts. that's so messed up. He's like, I can live for this long without any human organs in me, and I'll just put some soda in there. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe Pepsi found him, and they helped rebuild it him. It was Pepsi all along. He bought enough Pepsi in his life that they're like, we won't give you the uh, plane, but we will rebuild your body. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, sorry, going on tangents. Uh, Crocodile wanted Pluton to mm-hmm. take over the world but he was like trapped in the middle of like desert land so like how useful was pluton going to be in the desert country since Do you know, know it's a ship Do you think he even knew that pluton was a ship? Probably not. I don't yeah, I don't think. I think pluton up until that point had just been referred to as like one of the ancient weapons. Uh. Um so I don't think he knew I, it was a ship. He just knew it was yeah. Pluton. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to use Pluton. Yeah. I think I think Crocodile was a very skilled HR person with superpowers. And he did not really understand what he was doing he's a, most of the time. He's a good salesman. I, don't, I bet he wasn't even like, I'm going to make all the people of Alabasta turn against each other and steal their water. I think he like accidentally found it and then the people of Alabasta just started beating each other up and he's like this was my plan the whole time. What if someone had when every year when Agua Laguna was happening what if someone just like sailed to a nearby island and then just like lit up a bunch of dance powder wouldn't that just like stop the Agua Laguna from happening at Water 7? Yeah. They should just do, do we know that. know if they'd have dance powder there? I don't fucking know. Probably. <laughs> I don't know if it would stop Aqua Laguna. Would it take all the water from the ocean? I don't know. I don't know. know either. Also, I'm interested because they kept being like, Aqua Laguna's abnormal. So maybe like there's like some fucking devil fruit user who's like got like the Aqua Laguna, Aqua Laguna fruit and is just like trying to like fuck with Water 7. <laughs> The poor, the poor person who got, eats a devil fruit, and they're like, "Oh, it was the water, water fruit. All my powers are water based. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything. I can stand. Um, I can stand over here and control it over there. <laughs> it's just I like, push in the waves a little bit, but I don't want to touch it because yeah. it's scary. Anyway, um, we get a flashback. Yeah, a flashback. It's all the like iceberg doesn't want to destroy the blueprints in case that somebody that in case somebody gets like." Nico Robin to help them build yeah. Pluton. Um, but he knows that they will come looking for him because they know he's related to Tom, but uh, Cuddy Flam is dead. So like Frankie's safe for now. And then Frankie refuses to leave the island because he's Frankie and they love each other because they're brothers. Iceberg says, I can't forgive you, but I trust you. <laughs> um, and he's glad he's alive. Yep. And then everyone on the train back in modern day is a okay, including Lulu, Tile Stone, and Polly. Polly. Um, um Lulu pushes the thing, the little spike on his hair in and then it comes out the back of his hand. Which is upsetting. It's a little upsetting. And then Polly uh, they they figure that something's up with CP9, and they're like, "Who who are those mass people?" And then Polly tells them, and they are taken aback. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Luffy just unites everybody. He's like, "Hey, you guys hate CP9. I hate CP9. You guys hate CP9. I hate CP9. Let's all hold hands and say fuck CP9." And they do. 
They also see a giant wave coming towards them. Um, yeah, <laughs> they do. It's a big wave, and they're like, whoa, let's do um, something about it. Yep, and then there's a new outro. It's our second Sad Robin outro. It was a different sad outro? I just thought it was the same sad outro that I wasn't paying attention no, it's to. Sad Robin this time. Oh, no, she's going to die. Yeah. She's going to die. Robin's going to die. But then die. she'll eat some meat. She's going to die. Or something. She's going to explode. And then the me- going Mary's going to show up and put soda inside of her. <laughs> I'm waiting. The, the, the Mary definitely didn't go out like that. No, definitely not. No way. There's, there's no way that they get to CP9 headquarters, uh, and he's lobby. And then the, there's like a big thing that's going to take every, like the train out. And then the fucking Mary just rolls up and blocks the shot and like just blows up or some shit. Like it's going to be, the Mary's going to be like, don't worry. I love you. Do you think it's going to have the little like faceless Sprite that looks like the like fucking like it's going to take its hood down and it's just going to be a little Mary. (laughs) (laughs) I was with you the whole time. I was with you the whole time. And I'm the soul of the orphan that Mary used to build the ship. (laughs) I was an orphan. I was the orphan that built the ship. (laughs) Me, Mary. I've been here the whole time. I was... There was no spirit. I was in the walls. <laughs> Usopp, I li- I used to enjoy watching you sleep. <laughs> you were like a, a son to me. But that's why I shot you. <laughs> <laughs> Never wanted kids. Um. Yeah, I, I, I did agree. want a ship. I think the Mary's just going to like, s- like the spirit of the Mary is going to like block a shot. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to land on fucking Lucci. It's going to have a, it's going to shoot the cannon into Lucci. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, Mike, we need to get to this yeah. last episode because boy, am I excited about this last character. The very All right, end. Let's go through it. No, so no fucking, sidebars. We're so just doing fucking it. excited right now. Really fast. Episode, episode 277. <laughs> Luffy and Zoro beat up a wave. Background MVP. Sniper King. Yeah. Who might also be known as Soga King. Soga King. I think, yeah, Sniper King, Soga King. We got to keep going. Uh, Rocket Man. Everybody's getting ready for the wave. Yeah, the group just plans to shoot the wave. Boom. And they shoot it a lot, and it does nothing. Yes. We get a transponder um, snail from Sanji. Mm-hmm. Oh, before that, actually, uh, the Marines find all the knocked out Marines in suits, and they're like, what happened? Uh, and T-Bone loves all his men, and he's like, peace, I want peace and justice for all, peace. and then starts giving people parts of his game. like, my heart has been wounded <laughs> seeing all of these marines knocked down. Please, each of you take a piece of my cape. <laughs> my boys, my boys. Uh, at, <laughs> up on top of the train, Sanji, Frankie, and Usopp are hanging They're out. there. What? I just want to say... I, Kin, Captain (laughs) T-Bone. He's truly a people pleaser, and I kin him. We've (laughs) we've found Matt's foxy. My foxy is Captain (laughs) T-Bone. I will die for this man. (laughs) Are there figures of Captain T-Bone, historian? There's no way. I don't think there's Captain T-Bone merch. (laughs) We have to make a cut. We're going to have to 3D print one. I can do that. Let me if I just look him up and I hit shopping online. <laughs> oh, his story there, made a face. Let's go. There is a single issue figure that I can see of this man. It's the same figure. I'm seeing five different listings. Let's go. The lowest one is ninety dollars. Oh no, that's so much money. Mike already spent well, we, a lot of money on his li- his little his little teeny batteries. Don't size Fox. say it wasn't that much money. Hey, there's two different T Bone statues. There's two. Oh, okay. I guess they there's are. There's one it's that's just... like one with a big head. 
I bone that cat. There's some dude with a fucking robot arm. Is this Frankie's brother? Don't stop looking online. Frankie has don't, a brother. Don't Google things. Don't. Yeah, Frankie everyone, has a brother. Who, Frankie. Frankie has a redhead brother with a big robot arm. Oh no, that's goggles. not. No, I know who you're talking about. No, no. Uh, it's Frankie's brother. Frankie's it's brother. Frankie's little brother. Frankie's little brother has red hair. And a robot mm-hmm. arm. Who Frankie doesn't like because he ate the robot robot fruit. Maybe are you sure he's not do blonde with a robot arm? Are you just looking up Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood content? Maybe I honestly don't know. I looked up T Bone. There was a screaming man with a metal arm. Anyway, Sanji's got Usopp. You already said this. Sanji, Usopp, Frankie are on top of the ship. Yeah. Um. There's a better, 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 better. Yep. Meta, meta, meta. Um, and then Nami takes a snail out of her boobas, zoingoings. her big honking bazongas as what's his They're face breasts. Says. Let's not be immature about this. Hey. We all have them. Aokiji em. called them bazongas. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to be like Aokiji, an 80-year-old man or however old he is hitting on a... <laughs> 18 year old. The, the correct <laughs> terminology within the One Piece universe is bazongas. I bazongas. am true to the One Piece lore. <laughs> no tangents. Sorry. Uh, they shoot the wave. It doesn't work. Frankie- Kokoro says, ah, the wave might kill us. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wait. I guess Sanji and Nami talk about something. I don't think I wrote it. It doesn't that really matter. They talk about, like, they're on the ship doing things. And then they're no, like, it recaps stuff. Yeah. Nami updates Sanji about what's happening. Yeah. And Zoro and Luffy. Then, they're like, you we, you know what we're going to do? It's like, oh, yeah, 100%. This thing we've never done before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. They just go, <laughs> we operate on the same brain cell. Yeah. And they both just go, that wave's asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just both stand on the front of the train as they are approaching this <laughs> enormous tsunami. Yep. Like literally they, ruin a country tsunami. They bust out the we get uh Luffy starts punching a lot and yells gum gum and then Zoro yells. Well before before they start yelling, oh. they go uh he goes, What's hundred and eight times two? And he goes, two hundred and sixteen. <laughs> and he's like, Oh, that's hard to say. Just call it three hundred. Um uh, Yeah, just round up. Yeah. So then yeah, Luffy does a gum gum cannon at the same time that uh, Zoro does a 300 caliber 300 Phoenix. Caliber. Yeah, and it's like gum gum 300 caliber cannon. Yes, and they literally the, blast a fucking tunnel through the tsunami. Yeah. Just a straight hole through this fucking thing. It makes a Dragon Ball Z sound effect, I'm 90% sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does the like zoom away DBZ noise, and it basically just they them doing this forms a Kamehameha blast yeah. through the way. It's so fucking, and then like, it just like shows like the point of view is the front of the train as it's like twisting and turning through the yeah, train. That was on really the tracks. cool. And then they just launch out of the wave and they're like, we did it. Yeah. Uh, this is how Moses did it. I this think, is ex- in the Bible. This is exact. <laughs> Moses did a 300 caliber <laughs> Phoenix gum gum cannon to part the yeah. Red Sea. Um, Moses and his but his buddy Jesus, master of three sword style. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hell yeah! Um, Coker, Luffy. Yeah. Oh my god, Luffy gets back in the train. He's like, "What's going on?" And then Zoro comes in after him and just kicks him in the back and knocks him down. He's like, "Oh sorry." Yeah. And uh. Kokoro's, she's all like pumped up. She's like, "You know, you guys really know how to party." Uh. <laughs> Oh. oh man! And then they get on the transponder snail with Sanji, and Luffy's basically just like Sanji, give him hell. Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, Zoro is like, what? He's gonna like he can't take them on alone. And Luffy's like, if I told you not to do it, what would you do? And he's like, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, but I don't want the cook to die. And then Sanji's like, oh my god, do you care? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sanji's just like, you read me like a book, Luffy, and then. Yeah. Um, so then Sanji cracks the transponder snail in his hands. And he's like, I'm, I'm yeah, is it Frankie who's like, why'd you do that? I wanted to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, at, at this point, Usopp steps away and he's like, this isn't my fight anymore. I'm not part of the crew. I'm not going to help. 
And he leaves. Yes. And Frankie cries. Frankie is despondent about how dramatic all this is. Yep. There's some stuff with the Marines, and they're like, we have to get Wanza and Nero. And then T-Bone's still tearing up his cape. And then, just as Somebody. Sanji and Frankie are about to start their, their, their business... Hold on, wait, hold on, pause. Yes. Matt, cover your ears. Everyone, this is the point where Usopp becomes Matt's favorite character. 110%. Matt's going to be like, I was, I am Usopp. <laughs> Matt, you can uncover your ears. I definitely <laughs> wasn't listening to any of that at all. I don't know what you're talking about. The greatest character that has ever... I si- Okay. Literally, (laughs) Sanji and Frankie are about to go down. And then from the back of the train that you just hear, wait. (laughs) Yeah, in just the the most (laughs) normal man voice. Yeah, just like, I hear you're going on a mission down there. Let me, I don't don't know what the fuck he says, but he's like, I hear you could use some help. Um, And it just pans up and it's goddamn fucking Usopp just like wearing like a crazy fucking mask and a cape. Hey, that's not Usopp. Sorry. Yeah, it's not West. Usopp. That is a stranger it's, we have never it's seen. It's a stranger before. I've never met before. His name is Sniper King. Literally nothing like Usopp. I, nothing like Usopp. I don't know what you're talking about. I will tell you, it looks nothing like Usopp. Definitely not wearing the same clothes plus a mask and cape. Totally different person. I think that's a pretty common outfit in the Grand Line. I cannot yeah. fucking tell you. I was, I was so fucking excited about Sniper King. And then it just <laughs> auto played to the next episode, and they just showed like the face, and it played for probably five seconds, and like a bunch of text started shooting out of the eyes of the mask, <laughs> and then I hit pause, and I was like, I don't know what the fuck is happening right now, but it is the greatest thing I've ever seen, and I can't watch <laughs> it because it's next week's episodes, and I'm so mad that we're doing oh a podcast because I want to watch that fucking episode. But we're doing this right now. After this, you can just go and watch it. I am. I'm so fucking excited because apparently he has his own theme song and it plays like every time he shows up or whatever. And I'm so (laughs) excited. Sniper King, baby. Sniper King. Let's go. (laughs) This is one of the things I did like kind of know about. I don't know everything about it, but uh, it was like a friend of the show was trying to convince me to watch One Piece before we even uh dreamt of this podcast sure and this was this was a selling point was sniper king so good is it soga king well, or sniper king or both well, i i have that one piece t-shirt with all the wanted posters that my sister got me that has everybody on it and it's got like fucked up sanji and then next to that is soga king so it's yeah and the english the translation is sniper Soul king game. but it's soga king much like it's in english it's zoro but in the manga it's solo interesting it's, yeah neither is wrong i have i thought i had seen the like thing soga king before and i thought it was just like usopp had dressed up once and that's now his wanted poster um but uh historians said like sniper king's around for a long time apparently um (laughs) according to historian okay wait there's no way he (laughs) Luffy is never going to figure it out. I don't know. What you're t- I, I think Luffy is going to completely think he's a different person. I think mm. Luffy and it, Chopper and I bet Zoro. I think. No, not Zoro. I don't think Zoro. I, I, th- I bet Zoro. I don't know. I, Zoro's. I think Frankie. I think. <laughs> oh, I think yeah. Frankie, Chopper and Luffy are going to be like, who the fuck is this guy? This is the greatest thing ever. And then like Sanji and Zoro and Nami and Robin are just going to play along and be like, oh, oh yeah, me Sniper out. King. Yeah, whatever. Hear me out. I bet Robin doesn't pick up on it. <laughs> Why wouldn't Robin <laughs> pick up on it? She's kind of dense sometimes. I don't think so. I think Robin is very yeah. smart. I mean, Nami and Sanji are the two who are going to figure it out. And Zoro. I think Zoro. I mean, 100%. I don't even think. I feel I'm like Zoro sure. couldn't could, care Zorro less. Zoro and Robin could go either way. I think Zoro yeah. could care less about Sniper King. He'll probably right. just be like, he's yeah, not whatever. To New guy. Him. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited. I, I don't even necessarily want to watch the episode. I just want to hear that theme song. And I want to know why the fuck there's text shooting out of his eyeballs. Um, oh, man. I'm so excited. I wish I knew what the music was because I would end this episode with it. But. Ugh can't wait anyway you guys want a game 
Yes, I love a game. Those are the episodes we watched today. Sniper King yeah, has that's arrived. It. And we got no transponder snails. No one loves us. Slackers. Nobody wants to talk. It's okay. <laughs> we'll probably get like 10 for next week. <laughs> <laughs> Discord's been popping off while we've been recording, though. Yeah. Well, I've been doing like, I think I posted in the fan art today. Spoilers for when we're recording this. Um, <laughs> I've been doing like clothing studies to get like art muscles. Mm. Uh, and I was drawn to doing a suit. And I'm like, it's Sanji now. So I shared that with everybody. I thought that was fun. The game has begun. The game. Look at Chopper's adorable <laughs> face. That's why I picked it. I was Whoa. scrolling through trying to find one. And I landed on Chopper's face like that. I was like, oh, well, I have to. Um, Interesting. They're on a ship. Luffy's wearing an orange shirt and red pants. And red pants. Um, no Nami. No, no, no Nami. Nami. Robin's wearing, um, f- like her fish purple nets, outfit. purple outfit. Um, <laughs> fucking <laughs> I like Usopp's. Us- hat Usopp's and... got a fun hat on too, with like a. <laughs> is that like his Soga King outfit? His Sniper King outfit. No. Sniper King isn't here. That's that's Usopp. Sorry, Usopp? he's just got a cape on. I apologize. Sniper King's not here just right now. Please come back later. Chopper. Okay, hold on. Frankie's got like a bandolier <laughs> with ammunition on it, and Chopper has a cross. Yeah. <laughs> um. Interesting. So I don't want to draw conclusions. But I should. That's the whole point, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, if I look back at past games, specifically the game with um, the Megazord of the, the people. Oh, yep. Um, it's definitely Megazord. It's Megazord Do we times remember because what episodes we said cause for that? Frankie's got the same yellow shirt and Usopp's wearing that cape and hat. So Look at us using deductive reasoning. I'm going to use deductive reasoning. I'm going to say... Three fifty eight. Okay. Mike, what are you saying? Oh, he's looking up source material. Mike, you can't look no. You can't cheat. Hold on. Um hold on, hold on. He's cheating. Hey, wait, he's cheating. Hey, he's cheating. How many? Ah, historian, how many Ten. episodes do we have until thr- Thriller Bark? Oh, till Thriller Bark? Yeah. Um. I I listened to last week's episode of the podcast, and I know that we used that last Thriller Bark one, and it was three sixty seven, I believe, is what that one was. You guys are you guys so. are encroaching on on Thriller Bark. So that's why I said like three hundred episodes. I said three fifty eight for mine. <laughs> okay, because you know it's Thriller Bark. <laughs> yes. I own one One Piece comic that a friend bought me, and it is a Thriller Bark one. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I know Luffy has orange shirt and red pants for Thriller Bark. I'm going to say 359. You fuck. You fucking price is right in me. <laughs> I hate you. What is Unfortunately it? Unfortunately for Mike, Mike did go in the wrong direction. This is oh, episode fuck. 354. No, I was so close. Oh, I was Eventually, so close. Eventually, you guys will get it one for one. Eventually. I was so close. My deductive reasoning. Let's go. Hell yeah. I'm excited for Chopper's I face. I want to know what the fuck is going on with his face. I think we had... I don't think it was a game. Oh, no. It was a game. Um, Luffy pushing down the zombie was also when he was wearing those clothes. There's a mm. lot of silly screenshots in... <laughs> thriller bark <laughs> i'm really excited for thriller bark i'm very excited for whatever this like mess is We're, i don't even know if it's like important or anything but the fact that it's like scooby-doo monster games one piece it's very exciting we haven't gotten to zoro with the babies yet either we haven't gotten to zoro with the babies yet it's very <laughs> interesting baby daddy zoro baby daddy zoro my goodness. anyway this has been what episodes are we watching next week? Um, you are watching the next six, so the last plug through of Water Seven. You're going to be ending at episode two sixty three. We are completing Water Seven. Yep. Next week. Ugh. 
It's very exciting. And then, probably the week after, we'll do a phonoglyph number two. Yeah, we're going to bust out the phonoglyph, talk about our feelings, our thoughts. Boom. Um, will I talk about Silver Fox Foxy? Yes, I will. Yeah? Yes, I will. Because I'm still going to bet that I'm going to think he's a better villain than Lucci. I think... I think I'm still going to feel that way. I know we just did the villain tier list, but I, I like can't wait to like take Lucci and put him somewhere. Lucci and fucking Kaku and put them somewhere on the villain tier list. It's going to be great. Yeah. I got some ideas for like stuff to talk about. It's going to be so much fun. You guys are going to love it because you love us. Maybe. And you better or else. Yeah. Or maybe you hate us and that's why you listen. Maybe this is like a, Joe Rogan podcast situation. <laughs> um, let's start beef with Joe Rogan. That'll get us listeners. I don't. Uh, uh, don't. I don't, don't eat horse medicine. I know we give bad medical advice all the time. Don't eat horse medicine and go watch One Piece. Ours, our, ours is in jest though. And by ours, I mean yours. No, I never don't ingest. I never say don't any. ingest the horse medicine. Ingest babies. They've got that <laughs> soft what tissue. It'll help. Matt. Are you what? G- no. We're not hey, we're not promoting stop. Snowpiercer lifestyle in this. Um not yet. Historian, what is what do you think the one piece the is? One piece. Um, what is the one piece? The one piece you, is yeah. this little stuffed yeah. animal crab with a celebration hat on. Aw. There he is. Aw. Crustacean piece. That crab's a pervert. And then if you want to hard cut into the crab rave. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was just thinking that. Thump, 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 thump. <laughs> That's not the song, but it's fine. Bye. Uh, bye. Oh, big piss. Big piss. <laughs> big piss. <laughs>